Tonight we're going to talk about how we help people invest in real estate, how certain projects we're working on, how those properties are going, how those projects are moving along. And uh, we'll break right into it tonight. Quick disclaimer, it's not a solicitation for funds, tax advice, or legal advice. We're going to talk about how we help people invest in real estate. Sorry about that. And if there's any uh, technical difficulties tonight, just please write in the Q&A. Uh, let me know if you can't hear me or you can't see the screen or have any technical difficulties. Feel free to write them in the Q&A or the chat. Of course, I encourage questions as we go along here tonight. So I, if you have any questions about what I'm talking about, please put them in the chat of the Q&A and I will answer all those questions at the end of the presentation here. I'll be speaking for about uh, 45 minutes or so tonight and we'll save time for questions. And again, uh, with our disclaimer here, it's not a solicitation for funds, tax advice, or legal advice. So tonight's agenda. All right, so our process. So, we, so we're we gonna talk about how we help people invest in real estate and how we reposition apartment buildings. We're gonna then break into 463-465 uh, Summer Street in Patterson, New Jersey. That's a mixed use property that we're just about to refinance. And we'll talk about another uh, property here, 196 9th Street in Passaic, New Jersey. That's a six unit. We uh, recently refinanced very successfully and achieved uh, returns about 30% greater than targeted. And we have uh, 105 Marion Street in Patterson, New Jersey as well. That's a 25 unit property. And we are on track nicely on that. And we'll talk about a 27 unit in Rahway, New Jersey as well, on uh, West Milton Ave. So uh, those are the properties we'll be focusing on tonight. And we'll talk about how we help people invest in real estate and, and how we founded the company as well. So real quick here, who is People's Capital Group and what is our mission? So we were founded in 2013. Uh, Seth Martinez and I are the founders of the company. Seth handles operations. I'm primarily in charge of client relations and fundraising. We are a New Jersey-based real estate investment company that helps people invest in real estate long term. So we really focus on the North Jersey market. We have an in-house management company here called PCG Property Management, which is skilled in the art of taking a mismanaged apartment building and making it produce better returns for our passive investor group. And uh, hold on one second here. I'm just actually going to close the window so we don't get as much noise coming in here. I figured it's such a nice evening. Why don't I open the window? But it is too loud. So let's get back to presenting here. So we focus on uh, working with our in-house management company and take, finding mismanaged opportunities in the marketplace here in North Jersey, discounted apartment buildings for sale. And we'll buy them with our investor group and we'll allow people to partake in the ownership of these properties without having to do the work. So they'll get the majority ownership of the real estate. And of course, we do all the heavy lifting behind the scenes, finding the opportunity, improving the building, renovating it, uh, improving the management of it as well. And that allows us to do a cash out refinance over time, which I'll explain in this presentation. Also produce cash flow for our investors as well. And tax depreciation because our investors own a part of the real estate without having to do all the heavy lifting behind the scenes. So right now we have about $20 million in assets throughout New Jersey. Um, over, we've helped over hundred people invest in real estate as well. And we only focus on managing our own properties with our management companies. We're laser focused on uh, making sure we hit those targets for our investors. And about 90% of our investors reinvest over time as well. So historically we've hit that target on our uh, targeted returns, our initial target of returns. We tend to hit that or do much better. And we'll talk about that tonight. So our mission at People's Capital Group is to help people invest in real estate to create long-term wealth for themselves and their family. Here's our process. I'll quickly explain this and we'll get into our case studies here. So first we find a great deal. Uh, right now we're finding great deals through brokers. Uh, we've found great deals through wholesalers, our relationships with landlords. And of course, uh, there's, it's all about who you know in this business. Uh, generally, we don't find deals just sitting on the internet. Um, then once we find a great deal of a value add apartment building with uh, rents below market value, improvements to make to the property, a good price that we can buy it at, of course, and good terms, uh, we put the property under contract and complete our due diligence. We'll have multiple inspections done on the property, we have title searches, re, uh, finance in, uh, insights, we review leases, of course, make sure it's a good opportunity, we review the markets, make sure it's a good location, of course, we're 
very well versed in a number of cities here that we focus on investing in. And we've been investing in uh, New Jersey here for years. So we really do know this market very well and have good banking relationships. So then we secure financing. We'll put it out to our investor group and then people will invest in the opportunity. Hence, People's Capital Group. So we help people invest in real estate if they're accredited or not accredited as well. We'll talk about that, how we help people getting started investing in real estate also. And then we reposition the building. So once we raise the capital, we'll close on the real estate, <clears throat> we'll reposition the building, we'll execute a renovation strategy to improve the rent roll on the building, lower our expenses and find out more ways to make income on the building as well. And as we increase the leases and the rental amount of the building and the income on it, increase our net operating income, we increase the value of the property and investors begin to earn cash flow over time. Then about three to four years into owning the property and completing the repositioning of it and improving it and making it earn more capital and more cash flow, we do a cash out refinance. So the building's going to appraise for a much higher amount. We're going to take out a new loan amount, a safe loan amount, low interest debt that's secured by the property and paid down by our tenants for years to come. And we're going to pay off that old mortgage and have cash left over in between. That's a cash out refinance. We'll split up a big lump sum with our investors. We'll expect to get about half of their investment back. And we try to accomplish this in about a three to five year window. And investors then have an option to stay invested long term and continue to earn cash flow and refinance liquidity events every three to four years and uh, tax depreciation as well at the end of the year. So it's a non-tax burden investment. It actually creates more tax write-offs uh, than it, it, uh, it creates more tax write-offs and eliminates all tax burden. So it's really a tax-free investment. It's a tax strategy at the end of the day. So most investors choose to stay invested long term to avoid that capital gains tax and build their legacy wealth. And also you can reinvest returns over time in new projects. We try to present a new project every four to six months, but of course we need to find a great deal. So it's not always easy. And that's our job is to find a great deal. So let's talk about great deals. Here are some right here. Uh, this is a 463-465 Summer Street in Patterson, New Jersey. It was right near the uh, high school there. Lots of development going on around there. We uh, bought this property for 965,000 about three years ago. It's a mixed use building. It has 10 apartments and one storefront. Uh, the rents were 30% below market value when we purchased the property. And uh, the units uh, needed to be repositioned uh, and improved in overall. Uh, the common area as well, the exterior, um, the units were outdated. Um, a lot of the tenants were not uh, cooperative, but others were. Uh, so we worked with some of the tenants. We worked out cash for keys with other tenants, and some tenants did end up in eviction court. But overall, we were able to uh, reposition a number of the units, improve them, get our rent roll up to where we needed it to be to refinance this property successfully. So we've renovated the units and released them for top dollar. And now we're refinancing the building, and it looks like it's going to appraise it targeted appraisal value. Looks like we're actually wrapped this up in about two to three weeks for our investors, this refinance here. So instead of a five-year period, as we initially targeted, we're refinancing this in about a three-year period. And that allows our investors to get a cash on cash return that's going to be about 30 to 50% greater than targeted, right? Because we're achieving this refinance in a faster period of time. In a three-year period here, we're getting back about half of the investor's investment here in a three-year period. So that's going to allow our investors to get back half of their investment and big, one big lump sum upon the refinance. As long as they stay invested in the property, that's tax-free income to them. The building still produces cash flow on a quarterly basis after refinance, um, and the investors enjoy their piece of that cash flow. And then about three to four years down the road, ideally, we'll refinance again as we aim to increase the rents about 5% per year. So continue to renovate the building as units become vacant and still add value to the building long term as we manage it with our in-house management company. So the whole goal here is to continue to renovate and manage the property to a T and refinance over time and produce positive cash flow on a quarterly basis. And here we're executing ahead of schedule. So our investors are earning greater than targeted returns. So you will generally target around 10 to 12% annualized cash on cash returns, but we are achieving more around the 15 to 16% annualized cash and cash returns now, uh, partially because our management is, is on point and it's taken years to get here to have the right staff and contractors in place and know how to navigate the red tape. And partially because we bought the property for a great price 
And also the market has gone up very nicely in the last uh, three years. So again, that market bump, the COVID bump, as they say, has really helped our property values. It's allowed us to lease units uh, for probably more than we targeted here and allowed us to reach this refinance value more quickly. So a nice combination of a bull market and uh, good execution on our end allowed us to reach our refinance point here quickly. And we had challenges along the way, like with water damage from Hurricane Ida there, and that was an unforeseen issue since it's not in a uh, flood zone. So many challenges, but we're still achieving our goals here ahead of target. So that's a nice success, success story for our in private investors there. So here's another one. Here's 196 9th Street in Passaic, New Jersey. This is a, a smaller property, six residential apartments, uh, mostly two bedrooms. Uh, actually, they're all two bedrooms. Uh, that we purchased it for $450,000 in 2019. It's a great sale price. Uh, boy, I just wish I bought more property for that price back then. We renovated and leased it up for top dollar. And we re refinanced it just the other month for, uh, it appraised for $730,000. So, Nice opportunity here where uh, this building was able to uh, appraise for a much higher price than we initially uh, paid for it. We invested probably about $50,000 in renovations into the property. So not a very large investment in the, in the building overall, just mostly cosmetic renovations to the units as they became vacant. So really nice cash out refinance allowed for our investor to make a uh, solid return on their investment. They got back about half their investment in about a three year period here. So about two years ahead of schedule, we were able to achieve that cash out refinance. Again, partially because we did our job very well and partially because the market's been very strong. So nice combination here. We buy for the right price. We keep our costs low when we're renovating. We lease units very quickly because we have an in-house management company that's practicing the art of repositioning properties and leasing them for top dollar. So uh, all in, in all, the, it adds up to a nice uh, project here that produces returns about 30% greater than initially targeted. So we did about 30% uh, greater than we uh, had targeted here off the bat. And that's really a nice uh, way to uh, under promise and over deliver. And that's why about nine out of 10 of our investors tend to reinvest as well. So here's 105 Marion Street in Patterson, New Jersey. This was a, a 25 unit building, uh, 25 residential condos. In fact, the entire building's 31 condos. We bought 25 of them. There's one other entity that owns the other six. And there is an HOA that we essentially own and, and control. And uh, but we get along with the other owner of the, pro of the uh, other condos. And it's a nice uh, building here that's doing quite well. We purchased it in October of 2020. Uh, when we purchased it, rents were 15% below market value. And so we're renovating units as they become vacant. Uh, we're renegotiating leases with current tenants. We're not really moving out as many tenants on this uh, building here. Uh, we have four more units that we will be uh, removing uh, tenants overall on and repositioning this year. And that's going to probably be our final uh, move out there for tenants and uh, repositioning here. And we're going to look to refinance ideally next year for this property, which would put us far ahead of schedule. Um, our renovations are on track. Our leasing uh, amounts are uh, on track as well. Now, one big challenge we had with this property was the taxes increased by about um, almost $15,000, about $13,000 or so when we first bought the property. Now, we didn't expect that. We, we do estimate uh, taxes to go up on our real estate insurance as well. In fact, generally for every dollar we increase rent, we estimate that insurance and taxes will go up 50 cents. So we uh, definitely you know, did estimate an increase in taxes, but not as much as they did as soon as we bought the building, they shot up. So we hired a really good company to re uh, get a tax reassessment done. We hired a good attorney uh, there to get the uh, reassessment done. And they were able to get it uh, reassessed for pretty much the exact amount that the, um, the tax were increased by. So now our taxes are back down to where we initially bought the property for, which is great. That allows for another $13,000 of free cash flow per year to our investors. And that's a great way to lower your expenses on your property, especially on these larger buildings by a tax reassessment. Now, see, we don't do those ourselves. We hire professionals to do that because they're really good at getting the building reassessed. They know exactly how to do it. There are attorneys that are practiced in the art of working with the right appraisal company and working with the city and knowing how to get the, the tax assessment in at, at the right price. They also looked at all of our other properties and they said, well, you know, a lot of them don't qualify for a tax reassessment because they're already assessed at the lowest possible value in their opinion. So 
They looked at all of our properties. This was one of them they felt they could save us a lot on. And there's a small fee to it. I think they get about 40% of the tax savings over the first uh, two years. So um, there is a fee that we end up paying, but overall we save a ton because we would have been paying another $13,000 a year indefinitely. And they would go up from there. So with this reassessment, not only do we save $13,000, but I don't think we would have been able to accomplish that <clears throat> if Seth and I just went after doing this reassessment because we're not reassessment pros. We're real estate pros. We understand how to find great deals and manage them to a T and, and analyze properties well and raise capital and <clears throat> work with our investor base and make sure we're hitting our targets to them. But when it comes to tax reassessment, we know our strengths and weaknesses, and we hire the professionals for really good tax reassessments, just the way I would hire a professional to cut my hair. So, you know, it's no different when investing in real estate. People really should invest with experienced professionals, and that's why real estate syndications exist, because experienced professionals help people invest in real estate successfully. And those individuals who are busy working their full-time jobs, making good incomes there, taking care of their family, um, they can work with professionals and not have to worry about how their assets performing. Our investors enjoy quarterly uh, financials, monthly updates, and they know exactly what's going on with their property here. So as we reposition this property, we look like we're going to hit our targets ahead of schedule, which is always good to see. And uh, that, of course, is the goal always to underpromise and overdeliver on these uh, investments. And it looks like we're able to achieve that on, on a number of these here. So here's another one, 190-200 West Milton Ave in Rahway, New Jersey. We recently booked, purchased this property in December. You can see there on the left is a picture of the front of it. Um, and then this uh, smaller picture here is what the bathrooms looked like uh, before we uh, purchased the property or when we purchased it. Um, and the bathrooms were a mess, as you can see, they're just a disaster. Over here are updated bathrooms, pretty common look. You may recognize this subway tile, the black finishings, the kind of simple but clean look overall. Uh, that's our, our focus, that's our style for our bathrooms. We create this kind of Manhattan look and feel to our bathrooms, nice city feel. But you know, these are more affordable units. Our studio units go for about 1,050 here. Our one bedrooms are uh, going around uh, 1,500 or so. And but we really create a nice <clears throat> unit here. You can see how we renovated the kitchen. Nothing crazy, white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, nice uh, floors there, but not you know real hardwood. You know, that's, that's the uh, laminate there. So we do focus on doing the right finishings of these buildings, but really making them pop, really making them look very nice. One little thing we've done on our building here in Rahway is we put motion sensor uh, sinks in the kitchens. So these are units you're kind of renting for a pretty uh, fair value here, pretty affordable price. But you know you wouldn't expect to have motion sensor sinks in the kitchen. That's a really high luxury thing people have in like million dollar homes. So it's a little bit more for the sink, but it in, in turn got us a lot more in rent and we'll make that cost back 10 times over, year over year, by investing in a nice amenity like that, just a motion sensor sink in the kitchen. See, that's something that your tenant's going to touch and feel every single day, right? The kitchen sink, right? These are things, they're tangible parts of the property. So we make them really nice, you know, nice hardware in the property, nice uh, stainless steel appliances, nice flooring, not the most expensive, but just nice. And, and sometimes we go a little above and beyond and we do things like, you know, the motion sensor sinks. So it's a nice little touch that got us uh, to lease the units much faster. We're getting also 15% greater than we thought we would initially get for the units. So we're leasing 50% greater than initial targets. Uh, this was two blocks of the train station. Uh, when we bought it, rents were 30% below market value. <clears throat> we have a $350,000 renovation budget. It's 27 units overall. And our property growth is ahead of schedule. We bought this for $2.75 million. Got a great price on it. Paid about $100,000 a unit, two blocks of the train station in Rahway, New Jersey, just last year. So really a great, great property here, off-market deal, direct to the uh, broker. He just called us first. We got out there, made an offer, and just took it. We're on track to refinance ahead of schedule, and we're on track to provide passive returns greater than targeted on this investment as well. So... Uh, here we are, that's it. in four case studies we just went over there with People's Capital Group where we have, oh, about 55 investors in total throughout those four properties or so, and they're enjoying nice returns. We also have a number of other properties as well, but we 
aren't going to cover all of the assets tonight. Those are just some highlights there. Now we're going to talk about uh, Seth Martinez here, a little bit more of the process of uh, how people get qualified as well. And we're going to talk about how we reposition apartment buildings as well and kind of the overall strategy there. Um, so here's uh, you know, me on the left, Aaron Fragnito. I focus on investor relations, uh, raising capital. I do weekly podcasts. I do weekly webinars. We have um, a Q&A coming up tomorrow about uh, how to make additional forms of income on your property. I'm speaking at two different RIAs next week, and I also am doing a webinar as well, uh, Wednesday or Tuesday night with Joey Chan about uh, identifying red flags before you buy a property, you know, how to uh, find those issues with construction. Uh, he's, a, he's a general contractor, so we're going to talk about construction and doing your due diligence when you're analyzing a property, especially an apartment building on the construction side and the finance side is what I'll talk about. So I do all different types of presentations like that, uh, generally every week almost, um, sometimes at RIA's, other times online. So uh, if you're following us, you'll see those on our weekly email. So be sure to sign up for those. They're all free. We don't sell uh, um, education. We don't do the rah-rah boot camps. We really are just helping people invest in real estate here in New Jersey. We've been doing this for the last 10 years. Um, there's Seth Martinez on our right. Uh, he has over 20 years of uh, business experience. He manages the operations, making sure that our management company is repositioning the properties to a T, making sure we're not overpaying for insurance and things like that, important things we need to have for the properties, but making sure we're getting the right price on them as well and shopping around for our mortgages. And he does the initial due diligence on properties. I also do due diligence on them as well, but he's kind of doing the initial level and then bringing me the, the cherry picked opportunities we want to actually move on. And uh, he had sold a medical billing company in 2008 and transitioned into real estate. And that's actually how I met Seth Martinez. I was his realtor and uh, he was making a bunch of low ball offers. So a bunch of real <laughs> realtors didn't want to work with him, but I liked working with him. I liked learning how he was buying properties for great prices. And it was a time in the market when you could do that, 2010, 2011, 2012. And uh, so then we eventually bought a six family together uh, in 2012 and moved on from there. And we, uh, organized People's Capital Group in 2013 and uh, bought and sold a 25 units successfully. We fixed and flipped over 50 houses. We've wholesaled a number of properties as well. And uh, together we've done about 250 transactions and um, helped almost over hundred people invest in real estate. So we continue to focus on repositioning apartment buildings and we're, managed, uh, we're doing a few flips these days, a few wholesales, but for the most part, we're really focused on buying mismanaged apartment buildings uh, helping people invest in those opportunities, allowing uh, people who are too busy and without enough experience in real estate to then invest successfully by investing in our real estate syndication. So why do people invest in People's Capital Group? Well, to date, we've raised uh, over $10 million. We have $4 million actively invested in the market uh, through private investors, and about $5 million have returned in full to our clients, achieving our target of returns. And of course, we try to over um, under promise and over deliver. Our historical performance is greater than our initial targets. So we, we really try to put a conservative picture um, out to our investors before they invest in an opportunity. We don't put out the highest numbers out there, but pretty attractive returns. And then we tend to really overperform on that because we set the bar at an attainable level. So we believe you should set the bar at an attainable level and then really knock it out of the park beyond that instead of assume that you're going to hit a home run every time, of course, just to raise the capital. So our in-house management company is really our secret weapon. It's our competitive edge. It allows us to manage the properties much more closely and make sure our projects are on track. Right? The hardest part of this business is construction management and property management, right? leasing units for top dollar, um, determining how to get your uh, rent unit units renovated for a good price um, and not going over budget, not taking too long to do it, making sure your contractors show up and you're getting a, the best deal possible. Also knowing how to do those finishings like the motion censored sinks and you know more of a C-class property. Well, now all of a sudden that becomes a B-class property, right? So we have four levels of real estate, A, B, C, D, D being the worst, A being the best. We focus on class C properties or B minuses and make them into a solid B, right? So that property in Rahway, for example, is a C property, I'd say, and we're trying to turn it into a nice solid B, maybe B minus. And one of the ways to get there is to put in motion censored sinks. Now it starts to feel like a nice solid B class property. In fact, most 
most B-class properties don't really have that. That's more of an A-class thing. But uh, we put that in to make our units feel like a more luxurious unit. And that's what it's all about when you're repositioning apartment buildings without breaking the bank, of course. So by owning our management company, we can execute very precisely on the reposition. And that's what it's all about. You can make money in real estate in many different cities and states, and different types of real estate as well. But in my opinion, by mismanaged apartment buildings and repositioning them and refinancing over time in a high demand market like North Jersey is one of the best strategies and teaming up with an experienced real estate syndication is extremely important if you are not practiced in the art of doing that. So we pride ourselves on helping non-accredited investors as well. So we work with accredited investors, which are individuals that have a net worth of $1 million, not including their primary residence, or have an income of $200,000 individually, or a household income of $300,000 and expect to make the same next year. Now, if you are not yet an accredited investor, that means you cannot invest in about 95% of real estate syndications. Most real estate syndications only accept accredited investors because, quite frankly, it's easier to run that type of fund. It's 506C. You can advertise on a billboard. You can put it all out there, and, and it's, it's kind of a different way to raise capital, but everyone has to be accredited, essentially a millionaire. We also accept non-accredited, sophisticated investors. So we run a 506B. And that means we can accept sophisticated investors who are not yet accredited, but they have some experience investing in real estate. They have the wherewithal to understand the investment opportunity. They don't need to live on the investment returns. They have ample income. And we're not taking their last investment dollar as well. We generally don't want to take more of, uh, than 50% of someone's available investment capital. But if you meet that criteria, then you would fall into the category of a sophisticated investor. So most people that own a home and have some savings or a nice strong IRA and are wealthily, uh, gainfully employed meet the category of sophisticated investor. So that opens up the door to a lot more investors. You might say, well, why don't real estate syndications then all accept sophisticated investors? The reason is because you have to do a discovery call with every single person that invests in our syndicate. That's part of a 506B. So part of the process of getting qualified to even review a private offering we have, even decide if you feel like people's capital group is a good fit for your investment goals, the first step is scheduling a discovery call. And I actually have to have that discovery call with every single person that invests in our fund. Now for each property, we can only have up to 35 non-accredited investors. So those spots do fill up. So it's important if you're a non-accredited sophisticated investor you do the discovery call, you get on the investor list, and you're able to review the opportunities in a timely manner and decide if it's a good fit for your investment goals. If not, then you can just review the next one or move on or check out different real estate syndications or stay invested in the stock market. As long as your money's working, that's the most important thing. But we always advise our clients to diversify some capital out of the stock market, especially if your IRA is fully invested in the stock market. About a third of our investors are self-directed IRAs. And we really pride ourselves on helping people build their retirement account as well. And uh, so people tend to self-direct their IRA into our opportunities or just invest uh, cash as well and take some capital out of the stock market, which is a very volatile place to be and diversify maybe 30 to 50% of your available investment capital in a professionally managed real estate syndication. So that is what we advise our sophisticated and accredited investors uh, to do. It's always good to diversify, diversify, diversify. But it's important to understand we're people's capital groups. We help people invest in real estate and we also help sophisticated investors. You don't have to be a millionaire to invest with us. And I really pride myself on helping people getting started investing who are not yet accredited, not yet millionaires. I help get them get there. That's a great feeling. We build our wealth together and we become millionaires together. So that's our focus here at People's Capital Group. And here's some highlights you would expect to see in most of our private offerings. Our minimum investment is $30,000. We have different shares, different classes uh, that people can invest in. A larger investment is rewarded with a better share class. Generally, $30,000 to $100,000 is your first share class, then $100,000 to $250,000, then $250,000 to $500,000, $500,000 to a million. So there's different share classes. And again, we work with many accredited investors that have seven figures with us. We love helping multimillionaires invest in real estate. 
In fact, we like they're going to have multiple different funds in the future, one for accredited, one for sophisticated. But right now, we pull everyone together. So we reward larger investors and larger investments with a better share class. So you can also get started with a minimum investment of $30,000 and get solid returns as well. But of course, a larger investment earns a better share class. Uh, we are IRA, it's solo 401k friendly. So if you're looking or thinking about self-directing your IRA, you would want to hire an IRA custodian. Once you select that higher IRA custodian, they're going to contact whoever holds your IRA now, say Fidelity. They're going to move that over to the IRA custodian, the amount that you've requested them to move. Once those funds are sitting with your IRA custodian, you can then elect to invest in real estate syndication. We're IRA friendly, so we know what those IRA custodians are looking for, and uh, we can help guide you in the process as well. We can even suggest IRA custodians to you that we've worked with before, and we work with dozens of them. They're uh, all a little bit the same, but all a little bit different. So um, generally, it's about two to three hundred dollars to start an account and self-direct your IRA to an IRA custodian. Uh, generally, it's not more than a, maybe $100 or $200 a year to have an, a self-directed IRA account. And of course, you can invest that in real estate. You can invest that in a number of opportunities. <clears throat> There's things and people you cannot invest it in, but then uh, your IRA custodian is going to guide you in that process. So of course, we are IRA friendly, and we love helping people build a retirement account. And people actually like making a difference in inner city communities with their IRA. It's pretty cool seeing a mismanaged building, maybe it was owned by a slumlord, we take, we make it a performing asset and that helps people feel, feel better about what their IRA is doing um, and, and really make, you know, make them feel better about pro proving a lot of inner city areas like Newark, Patterson, uh, Passaic, uh, Plainfield, Trenton. Uh, these are areas we own real estate in, we're investing in real estate in, we're making buildings uh, better assets, nicer places to live where people can feel proud to bring their friends and family there and safer places to live as well. And we're improving these cities, you know, block by block with our own little space there and what we can do. And people like making a difference with their IRA. So that's one of the benefits I've been told people really enjoy about our inner city investments. Uh, there's no maximum investment period. So what another thing people like about us is you can stay invested with us indefinitely. We have a very long term view of real estate. In fact, um, we feel that real estate's a really good investment to be in, especially once you're renovated and leased up for top dollar and the Buildings producing cash flow and refinance checks upon the you know, large lump sums upon the refinance. So why exit the investment? You know, ultimately, what we're going to do is ideally sell the property through a 1031 tax deference and trade into a bigger property. And that can be the gift that keeps on giving. And of course, our investors can build their wealth then into a bigger property, maybe a hundred unit building or so. You know, we take the 25 unit, the 27 unit, the 11 unit, and the six unit we talked about tonight. We sell those 15 years down the road for top dollar. Now, of course, they've been renovated completely, leased up for top dollar. And we trade into a 100-unit property, right? Bigger is better. More units under one roof, more value, more cash flow, more tax depreciation. So our investors will build even greater wealth. And that's their option. They can also exit at each refinance, get back their initial investment, keep the funds earned from the refinance, and keep the funds earned from the cash flow but they would have to pay capital gains tax on their investment. So of course, a better tax strategy is to stay invested long-term, continue to earn double-digit cash and cash returns through cash flow and refinances, continue to earn uh, tax-free returns, also using your tax depreciation there, and then trading into bigger real estate with us through time. So again, that's why IRAs and solo 401ks are great for us and just investing capital long terms, building that legacy wealth, which can be handed down to your children. So that's it for me tonight. If we have any questions, please put them in the Q&A or the chat. I know this is a bit of a shorter presentation than usual. I, we didn't go the full hour here, but I do encourage people to connect with us here. I know that we're putting out a lot of content these days. I have a presentation tomorrow at 11 a.m. about how to build additional forms of income through your real estate. Uh, next week, uh, Tuesday night, we're going to be talking about red flags and doing your due diligence on opportunities and, and in the construction space and on the financial due diligence space. So we'll talk about uh, with the general contractor, Joey Chan, how he does his due diligence and make sure his construction is going to be on budget. And I'll talk about how I review properties on the financial end and more from the stuff you can do behind a computer. And so that's Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Um, then of course, I'll be speaking at Chris Goodson's RIA uh, Wednesday night in uh, Bergen County. And 
I'll be speaking at uh, uh, Joey Chan's actually a RIA Thursday night in uh, East Orange. And then um, next, uh, the week after that, we have more events as well. So maybe you're a part of our meetup group with over 4,000 members. Maybe you're on our email list and you get our weekly updates and enjoy our content there. Uh, or maybe you just found us on Eventbrite or clicking around on LinkedIn. So we're glad you could connect with us here. And we encourage you to go to our website, peoplescapitalgroup.com. Uh, there we have past educational videos, tons of information about uh, how to self-direct your IRA into real estate, uh, how we reposition apartment buildings as well. And uh, we also do weekly blogs, weekly podcasts. And of course, uh, these webinars go up about a week after they're completed as well. So you can catch the recording there also. Um, but there at the website, you can learn more about how we help people invest. And what I'm going to do actually here is in the chat, I'm going to put a website here where you can learn about our upcoming offer. All right, so we do have an offering coming up. Now it is a 506B, so I can't talk much about the offering right here publicly. What I can tell you is, of course, it's a mismanaged apartment building for a great price in a high demand North Jersey, Central Jersey city. So we are focused on buying this property here. I just sent a link out to everyone in the group. So you wanna click that link and that's gonna bring you to our Syndication Pro website. That's gonna allow you to sign into our syndication portal and review some basic information about what we have coming up. And also there'll be another link then to schedule your discovery call with me, Aaron Fragnito. So click the link I just put in the chat there. Uh, click it before I end the, uh, I'm gonna end the uh, presentation here in, in a few more minutes. But once you click that link, it'll allow you to sign in, create an account, get into our portal there and just look at upcoming opportunities and also schedule your discovery call so you can get complete your uh, qualification process and complete your process there so you can actually review the offering when it's available. We do expect to have the offering available in about two weeks. So I wouldn't wait to do this. What tends to happen is I get a lot of people scheduling their discovery calls, like just as soon as the offering comes out and then my schedule gets booked up. I can't spend my whole day doing calls. It is important I connect with every single person, but with all the other things I'm doing and the RIAs and the speaking engagements, there's just too many, uh, not enough hours in the day. So of course, my schedule gets very booked up when the offering becomes available. So before you start seeing all those emails and all the enticements to get in on our next offering, which is gonna start in about two weeks, you wanna click that link I just put in the chat, schedule your discovery call with me, start your account in our Syndication Pro website there. And there's some pictures of the upcoming offering, not a lot of information, but um, you will be able to look at some pictures there and get some basic information on uh, targeted returns and things like that. So take a look at that. Click that link that's going to allow you to get access to our upcoming offering, schedule that discovery call, and I look forward to building our wealth together. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the properties we're working on right now. We covered four properties we're repositioning here in North Jersey, how we're helping uh, over 50 people invest in these properties and earn returns above target. And uh, we also talked about the buy, renovate, refinance strategy overall why we choose to reposition apartment buildings, why we think that's one of the best strategies to build wealth, and uh, how we're helping people continue to invest today in smart opportunities that have value add that we're buying at conservative prices in high demand markets. So even with rising interest rates, we continue to snag great deals, be very conservative on our numbers. And of course, I encourage you to learn more about how we do that at our website there. So click the link I put in the chat there. That's it for me tonight. Uh, you can enjoy a recording of this presentation on our website in a couple of weeks as well. Enjoy your evening.